What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Crazy Cycling Channel. This is video number two in my series on useless bike lanes or useless bike infrastructure. This time we are once again in Okemos, Michigan uh, on Jolly Road, which is another pretty major east-west road here in the Lansing, Michigan area. And if we take a look at the road here, you can see that there is a painted sort of bicycle symbol in the lane indicating that bikes should use that lane of traffic. Now, oftentimes you'll see that symbol where a bike lane ends, and that kind of is the case here, actually. If I look that way, you might be able to see, you probably can't, but there is actually a painted on bike lane that ends roughly there, and uh, then it just kind of ends, and then we have that sign there. My problem with this is mainly that just that I don't need a sign to tell me that I should be cycling in the road. Because if there's no bike lane, that's really where you should be cycling. Um, you know, during filming this, this video, you know, I've seen that a lot driving here. And I always thought, you know, what a useless piece of uh, painting. We don't need that to tell us that we should be cycling in the road because there's no other obvious place to cycle. Now that I'm looking at the, this, uh, and there are some other places where we have this symbol, and it usually is after a bike lane ends. But it's not a very good bike lane to begin with. It's just a, a, a little stripe painted on the side of the road. Um, and also, I just feel like I don't need that to tell me where to cycle. And the other point I want to make here is that this road is actually extremely dangerous to bike on for a couple reasons. The main one, well, first of all, it's a major road, but particularly the fact that it's a four lane road makes it very dangerous. I've had this experience myself where I've been cycling on a four lane road. Let's put the camera around here. So um, actually at this, this is actually a point where this road turns from two lanes, one in either direction to two in either direction. So it becomes a four lane road. Maybe that's another reason why they wanted to put that symbol there. But the problem is if you cycle there, what happens is that the traffic coming down this inside lane here um, you know if there is traffic there if there's traffic in both lanes and the traffic in your lane where you're cycling as a cyclist doesn't see you in time they don't have the patience to wait and merge over so what they'll do is if if they can't merge over because the inside lane is blocked they'll just close past you and i've had this experience so many times uh, cycling along some of the roads here. So I, I don't cycle on these roads because I don't feel safe on them because you just get close past constantly because those two lanes of traffic mean that that outside lane, um, you know, they don't have a place to go to if the road is, is packed. Uh, so I think it's pretty, pretty busy. I don't think this is very good cycle infrastructure. Um, yes, there is a, a painter on bike lane over there and may, maybe we'll just kind of, I guess I can walk over there for a minute. Um, but the way this ends, and then they just have that symbol there as if you can just magically cycle in the road, I think is, is kind of dangerous. Um, and you know, the absence of bike infrastructure means that um, you should be cycling in the road anyway. Um, and then that point about having such a major road just is, is not at all safe because if the two lanes in either direction again means that you just get squeezed so much more often than you do if it's just one lane in either direction, especially like here, there's a central turn lane, which makes the road a little bit wider. And on a straight road like this, I'll show you this bike lane here, to turn around. We do have a very narrow sort of painted on bike lane here, then a lane of traffic, a central turn lane, and the same thing on the other side of the road. Actually, I don't think there's a bike lane on that side. That side has two, two lanes, actually. I didn't realize that. Um, this kind of thing, I, I rant about it a lot, these painted on bike lanes. On a straight road like this, it's, it's okay. It's way better than just being in the lane with cars because at least there's space for you. There's no physical protection, but there is space. But when a bike lane like that ends is where the problem comes. So here the lane ends, once again, lane ends there, road widens a little bit, and then we have uh, two lanes of traffic and, and you really, you just, first of all, have to m kind of merge, although there's only one lane there. So it, it's, it's kind of like emerging into the traffic, but really the problem is that you're gonna get squeezed 
uh, when two cars, uh, it, when both lanes are full and a car tries to pass you. So hope that kind of made sense. As I'm sitting here, the fact, talking, <laughs> the fact that there's a painted, uh, you know, bicycle symbol is starting to make a little bit more sense. I understand why they're doing it, but this infrastructure in general is just not very good. And I, I either don't cycle on this road or I use a sidewalk, which isn't ideal, but I don't feel safe cycling in this heavy traffic. And today's Memorial Day, so there's no one out anyway. Uh, on, say, a work day at 8 or 9 in the morning, this road is packed and it's, it's you know, everyone's stressed when you get to work. Pretty dangerous and really this needs some kind of off-road path that runs parallel to the road or a protected bike lane or, or something like that. I mean, this road is wide enough, they could easily put something in. I mean, this road is really, really wide, as you can see here. It's your typical American Strode. Um, so I think there's a lot of scope there for, for uh, improving it. But uh, at this point, I think I'm just ranting. Thanks for watching all my bike infrastructure videos. No, I'm not a professional. I just kind of talk about things as I see them. I'm actually trying to learn a little bit more about proper design and that kind of thing so I can talk about these things in a more constructive way. But I also just like showing you guys, you know, some of the stuff that uh, I see and what my experience is using it as an actual cyclist. So hopefully try and improve these things. So thanks, take care and have a great rest of your day.